I have an amazing show for you today, folks. We're going to ask some forbidden questions, some questions that the left is going to be very, very pissed off with me about. But I don't care. I don't care because I'm very, very pissed off, beyond pissed off with them. All right. I'm pissed off with the left beyond belief. And you should be, too. You absolutely should be. All right. This entire topic, everything we talk about in this show today, it's off limits. But, you know, as a father with young daughters, I'm absolutely and unequivocally done. I'm done placating the other communities and their imaginary, their imaginary rules, regulations and ideologies. All right. But before, guys, before we get to the Loudoun County story, I want to start this episode off with a dream that I had recently. And don't worry, it's not going to get too weird. All right, this is something that I'll set the stage for the episode and get your brain nice and warmed up. Some fuel for your thinking caps with a little nugget, a little tiny nugget of hidden wisdom deep inside. So I had a dream last night, guys. I'm telling you, I had a dream and it was very deep. It was a very deep dream. And I don't dream often. All right, I don't dream often. I don't sleep very good. I really don't. But this time, all right, it was a deep sleep. It was a vivid dream. And I want to give you this dream. I want to give it to you as a gift because I know it contains some answers to some of our current problems. All right. I'm not selfish. I'm not trying to, to say that in a boasting manner. I just want you to have it and do with it what you will. All right. Do with it what you will. I just want you to try and do something good with it. All right. So check this out. In my dream, all right, in my dream, I'm flying over the water. It's a cool day. It's kind of hazy. I'm flying over the water like an eagle soaring in the lines and curves of a raging river. And lo and behold, right below me, there it is, this raging river. All right, I'm gliding on the wind. And the feeling, it's, it's unlike anything I can explain in words. It, it's almost as if, just for a second, I am the eagle. And the eagle, the eagle's me. As I soar the sky, I, I feel the cold wind rushing past my dark feathers. I extend my wings back and I begin to glide down closer and closer to the river. Everything seemed to be in harmony. Every movement I made and feeling that I experienced could only be described as automatic. It was magical. It was meant to be. But as I neared the water, I noticed something strange. The river, it was, it was split down the middle, right down the center. And not only was the river split, but the water strangely flowed in two different, almost opposing directions. On one side, the, the current flowed north towards the snow-capped mountains, and the other well, on the other side, the current flowed south, and it dumped into a great bay. A great large bay, guys. Now, something was horribly wrong. Both the mountain to the north and the bay to the south, they, they were dying. Almost as if no life existed in these areas anymore. Throwing the natural, of, uh, the natural order of things into chaos and catastrophe. Worst of all... The salmon, the salmon that were on the, uh, in the river on, on both sides, they were, they were swimming against the current. And even though the currents were raging, the fish, they didn't move from their spot. It's as if they were stuck in perpetual motion. Now, they were all salmon, and you could only tell them apart based upon the direction that they were desperately trying to swim in. As I watched... I began to see thousands and thousands of large eagles appear. So many, in fact, so many, they seemed like a swarm of locusts in the sky. And to my horror, they began ripping the exhausted salmon out from both sides of the river, regardless of the direction of the current, consuming them by the thousands. I screamed to the remaining fish. I cried out. I begged for them to stop swimming and just ride the current to safety. I begged them to work together, but they just couldn't hear me. 
They were too busy bickering with one another, as they were all eaten alive. And that, my friends, that's when I realized the terrifying truth. I wasn't the eagle. <laughs> Deep, right? Now I feel like I know what this dream means, but I want to give you a chance to tell me what you think. So do me a favor, either live, uh, leave a comment on my social media. All right. Leave a comment below everywhere at American underscore Reveille. All right. You can find me all over social media, Getter, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and shadow banned across the freaking realm. But if you dig deep enough, you can find me American underscore Reveille. All right. Let me know what you think this dream means. You can also email me directly, James Lane at AmericanRevely.com or just go to the website, AmericanRevely, R-E-V-E-I-L-L-E.com. The last button on the right is the contact form. You can fill out a contact form. Let me know what you think. I'm really, really, really interested. I want to know. All right.